Ah, home sweet home. It's the American dream. What everyone wants. Everyone, including mice, mosquitoes, termites, and cockroaches. Hey, they have families too. They need food, shelter, and water just like we do. So how do we keep them from moving in with your family? Hi, I'm Tim from the National Pest Management Association. Now I'm here to tell you about a great way to keep bugs and rodents at bay. Integrated Pest Management, IPM. And while it may sound new, it's based on old-fashioned common sense. Today, I have an appointment to inspect the home of a family I've been working with for a while. Together, we came up with a personalized plan to keep their property free of pests and the dangers that they pose. After I go in and inspect for any problems, I'll tell you more about integrated pest management and how it works. Kathy, things look great. I haven't seen any signs of infestation or any conditions that would put you at risk. It looks like you've been really committed to applying the principles of IPM. I think our teamwork is really paying off. Even with Linda next door having a big ant problem, they just don't seem to like it over here. Well, that's the whole point of integrated pest management. IPM starts by making pests feel unwelcome, so they stay away. Here's how it works. It used to be that homeowners didn't call in pest professionals until after they had a problem. Today, professionals and homeowners work together as a team to stop pests before they invade. That's the basis of IPM. It starts with a thorough inspection. Are there any pests or potential for them lurking in your home? Next comes identification. Exactly what pests are we dealing with? Sometimes you don't even see the culprits, just the signs that they've been there. Droppings are an obvious example, but there are other signs, more subtle, that an expert can piece together. Kind of like a pest private detective. Finally, there's treatment. And by treatment, we mean a range of things, from steps you and your pest management partner take together to prevent infestation, to the professional and targeted application of pest products that eliminate existing problems. It's a cleaner, greener approach to pest control. Not one size fits all, but tailored to your situation. Now let's learn some measures you can take indoors to ward off unwanted visitors. First, repair any leaky pipes. A puddle the size of your pinky nail is an oasis for a cockroach. Next, seal up cracks and holes around pipes and wiring and under sinks. A rodent can use these holes as highways into your home. They can squeeze through cracks the size of a nickel. Now for the daily habits everyone should adopt. Keep food in sealed containers or the refrigerator. All of it. Fruit to bread to nuts. That includes pet food. To a rodent, those kibbles are five-star fare. Leave them out just long enough for your animals to get their fill and then close up the doggy dining room. Wipe counters frequently. A few crumbs, a few droplets are all it takes to lure a horde of hungry scavengers. Ants are social insects. Where there's one, there's more to come. Of course, store your garbage in sealed containers and get rid of it regularly. If you snack around the house, take those dishes back to the kitchen. Hard to do when you fall asleep on your sandwich, I know, but force yourself. Finally, vacuum, a lot. You'll clear tempting crumbs and make any creatures hiding in your carpet very uncomfortable. Now that you know how IPM applies inside, let's see what we can do out here. First, keep the perimeter of your house clear of places for pests to hide and breed. Rodents, spiders, and termites crave dark, cozy nooks to curl up in. Trim shrubbery and trees away from the house. Keep firewood and wood mulch far away, too. They're not just hiding places, but all-you-can-eat buffets for termites. Termites damage property to the tune of $5 billion a year. Clear gutters and channel water away from your house. Maintain your foundation and keep it moisture free. Water doesn't just damage homes, it attracts insects to basements and crawl spaces. Keep the yard dry too. Clear children's toys or anything that could collect rain. Standing water is an invitation from mosquitoes and other pests to vacation on your property. <laughs> mosquitoes aren't just pests. With the rise of West Nile virus, they pose a threat to your family's health. Keep windows and exterior doors screened and make sure their frames are sealed. 
Seal cracks and holes where utilities enter your house. Keep the garage tidy to eliminate hiding places and be sure to close the garage door, especially in the spring and summer. Don't let trash or recycling pile up outside and keep the lids on your bins. Finally, and this is a biggie, inspect anything you bring into the house for hitchhikers. It's amazing how many people actually bring insects, like cockroaches, home from somewhere else. Cockroaches spread 33 types of bacteria, six parasites, and asthma-triggering allergens. All those tips form an awesome arsenal of steps to stave off most pests. But you know what they say about the best laid plans of mice and men. Preventative measures are effective, but sometimes pests still find their way in. That's why it's crucial to partner with your pest professional throughout the year, not just when you have a problem. Get those inspections, work together, pest-proof your home, and properly treat any pest problem you may have quickly and effectively with the guidance of a pest professional. That's integrated pest management, cleaner, greener teamwork that's changing the way we relate to nature's little intruders. After all, they're just looking for a place to call home. Thanks to IPM, it won't be your place.